Welcome back everyone, it's Abdali here with another exciting episode of Link's Awakening on Game Boy Color and of course Nintendo 3DS. We're gearing up, we're getting ready for the Link's Awakening remake on Nintendo Switch by playing through the original game. Today's episode is going to be a big one, it's going to be a double header. We're going to do the entire Color Dungeon, which is exclusive to the DX version, which is what we're playing over here. And of course we're going to be doing all of the Face Shrine, which is level 6. So thanks so much for being here. Let's give some shout outs to all you guys that came here live. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thanks for coming. What's up, Daniel? I see Jeffro, Amethyst, BWA, Segan's here, Peyton's here. Yo, what's up, Gustavo? Uh, who else is here? Blazing Gamer, Twisted, Dark Joey, LPs, Anime, uh, Bison, Soul, um, Aaron Kelly's here, Jorge's here, Brandon, Philip. Yo, Silent Robots, hello. It's good to see each and every one of you. Anyway, we got a lot of things planned, like I talked to you guys about. Alright, so we've got to backtrack a little bit. We've got to go get another heart piece uh, right over by Candlelit Castle. We'll go hit that up. Uh, we got to go purchase the bow and arrow since we're at 999 rupees. I'll show you guys a little trick to save some rupees. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to go get the magnifying glass, which is the final item in the trading sequence. We're going to go get the boomerang. We'll get the a brand new song. And, of course, we'll get the face key. We'll uh, get another heart piece. We'll go do the color dungeon, and then we'll do the face shrine. So, see, the thing about the color dungeon is that you can do it any time after you get, I think, uh, the third dungeon. And it'll allow you to get either the blue tunic or the red tunic. And what we want to do is, I want to go for maybe the blue. I think blue would be pretty cool, or maybe red. I mean, blue tunic does half damage to all of, like, all the damage that Link takes. It's half. Or red tunic is double damage that he gives out. So, we can do some mad damage with the level 2 sword comboed with the red tunic. And imagine if I get like a little thing of courage, the little triangle thing that you get. That's massive damage. Anyway, you guys let me know in the comments, blue or red. And then at the time, we'll absolutely do that. So anyway, good to see you guys. Grab your uh, Nintendo 3DS, download the game, play along with. Uh, and of course, uh, we are going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening on Nintendo Switch next week. Got some really, really awesome giveaway planned for it. So make sure you guys are on board with that. So, all right. Let's go. So here we go on Nintendo 3DS. Let's get out. Uh, let's go play a song, right? Let's do Mumbo's Mumbo, all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Do 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 ding ding ding. Yeah, we're here. All right, that's that's one of my favorite songs. You're gonna be hearing that song a lot in the Switch version. Trust me. All right, anyway. Uh, so whenever we're over here, you gotta make sure you put on your bracelet because that's what it is. Uh, and I need a sword too, so let's put on a sword. Level 2 sword, cool. And I do have a potion, so we don't have to really go talk to Tracy at all. So, Tracy, right? Crazy Tracy? Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, so since we're over nearby the... Ugh! <laughs> there goes my blade beam. Um, since we're over by the town, Mabe Village, uh, we might as well go do some work and pick up that bow and arrow. Now... The game gives you enough rupees if you're doing everything 100% as far as getting all the treasure chests within. It gives you enough rupees that you don't necessarily have to go cut and stuff in order to grind. Uh, but there is a little trick, and this trick is uh, very interesting to do. Um, so what you want to do is you want to come over here with the bow and arrow. Um, and then as soon as you press the A button, you want to like save and quit. And I, I'm not really good at saving and quitting on the 3DS. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to save and quit. <laughs> hey, there we go. That worked. Okay, cool. So now you guys can see that we have the bow and arrow in our inventory, right? That we bought for 980 bucks, but we were so quick that we were able to save uh, a lot of that. And I have 855 rupees right now. So there's a little trick for you guys. Uh, I cannot confirm or deny if that works on the Nintendo Switch version, but hey, you know what? That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's so cheeky. Are you kidding me? It's just as it's just as bad as stealing Abdallah. You practically stole it from him. I can hear you guys thinking. But you know what? I didn't, and I'm not going to be named Thief. So there's that. <laughs> All right, where are we going? We're going Candlelit, yeah? Let's go. Yo, was that not the coolest thing you've seen today? Come on now. Let's go. Give it up. Thumbs up in the chat if that was ethical. If you guys thought that was not ethical, give me a frowny face. Or if you guys thought that was awesome, give me a smiley face. How about that? I want, I want to see a whole bunch of emotes in the chat right now. Was that ethical, what I did right there? Or like, I don't know, I, 
I wouldn't know how to translate into real life, like, what that was all about. But, yeah? Smiley face? <laughs> Alright, where am I going? I'm going over here to get this heart piece. Check this out. Yeah! Oh, come on! What? What do you mean? How am I getting this? Chicken? Chicken? Do I have to use a chicken for that one? I thought that's where we are going. Uh, jump into the right side of the moat. Anyway, we're going over here. Is that only available through the flying chicken? How in the world am I getting that? That's insane. Dude, no way, man. If that's the case, that is locked behind the blue chicken. There's no way you can get that without it. Well, luckily in the switch... Switch version, you may or may not be able to do that without the chicken. My goodness. Okay, so none of you guys thought, none of you guys thought that was unethical. What we just did in order to save rupees. Huh. I'm looking at this chat over here. Okay, good job. Uh, good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming. We're hanging out Saturday night playing the old Zelda game from 1993, 92. Let's just say the 90s. Yeah, like, you can't get this. The heck, man? Bogus. Anyway. Really? Where is it? Is there something here? Oh my gosh, wow, about to get a heart attack. What? <laughs> How were you ever supposed to know that? That's so Boglethorpe, you have no idea. Dude, there's no telling that you have to dive in a certain spot in order to find a heart piece. That is... That's something else, guys. That's next level Zelda. Ugh. That's actually borderline disgusting to me. Ugh. No way, dude. Old cryptic Zelda games where it's like, you have to be in the one spot and press the one thing in order to know, but like, there's no internet back then. Shaking my head at that one. But anyway, we did it. So that's number nine. That's heart piece number nine. We're going to head over to uh, Animal Village right now in order to get number ten. So let's go. And we're going to finish up this little trading quest, so we'll be all set. Oh my. Okay, can I get up here? Yeah! No, I cannot. How in the world am I getting out of here? Did I already miss it? No, no, I'm right here. Okay, good. I can go to Animal Village this way, right? I can swim. Shweem, shweem. Oh, yeah! Dodging those guys like a champ. Alright, here we go. Alright, yeah, we're right over here by Animal Village. Uh, so I'm gonna go to Animal Village. And we're gonna go, yeah, into the cave that I, uh, prematurely went into before. Alright, here we go. Dun, 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 ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Hoo-yah! Do-do-do. Du, du, du. I should come up with some lyrics to Marin's Ballad of the Windfish. What are the lyrics gonna be? Look at that old granny! Alright, here we go. Alright, so when you guys play the Nintendo Switch remake, pay attention to what's behind here. I've already said too much. Dun 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 ding ding ding. All right, where am I going? Uh, I guess I can do this. See ya! Is this? Oh, this is different. Is, am I? Am I looking at this right? Oh, interesting. Hello? Hello? So you can do this one of two ways. Uh, I guess I'm going to show you the cool way. This is how the cool people do it. Check this out. How do you guys ever heard of a missile? Oh yeah! it? Oh yeah! What the heck? Yo, that missile doesn't work! What a ripoff! <laughs> what happened? Oh my god, that's so bogus! Alright, we're gonna try it, we're gonna try it a different way. Got it, got it. Yo, I thought I could missile that! That's stupid. Alright, whatever, whatever, whatever. 
So we're gonna do a little something different. A little something something different. Check this out. How many guys have ever heard of a missile? A missile is an actual thing! A bomb arrow! <laughs> Yo, you can bomb arrow in this game, I promise you! But that just didn't work out, so... Anyway. Check this out. Hello? Alright, so plan B worked. And I'm fine with it. This is funny. It was just actually funny about, um, I was so dead on, I thought I could launch a missile at that thing. Um, so normally what you can do is you can press the A and the B buttons if you have bomb and arrow in your uh, little hotbar over here. You can press them both at the same time and launch a missile. Um, how in the world am I getting out of here? Oh, I guess like that. Okay, cool. That works out. I'm like, whoa, that's a four... Four square gap? I don't think Link can make that back. I'm stuck. I'm soft locked. No, I'm not soft locked. Anyway, what did I just pick up? Our 10th heart piece? Cool. Alright, so looking good. Alright, so we're going out of here. We're going to go pick up that magnifying glass now. The magnifying glass is going to be really good for you. Uh, because with the magnifying glass, you can see things that you couldn't normally see. How many guys know the different things that you can actually see with the magnifying glass? I'm looking for super fans here who have played The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening and know exactly what we're gonna go look for. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. All right, first person to say it gets a shout out, go. I know where I'm going. I just like giving shout outs to people who are very, very hip with the trivia, I guess. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Ow, dude, chill. You! Oh my gosh! Wow, that hurt! What is your problem? What is your actual problem? Alright, I'm looking in the chat. Here we go. Um... Anyone. This one! I don't know. Okay, some people don't know. Riddy doesn't know. Silent Robots doesn't know. Bugs? That Zelda thing, right? Uh, whoa! Okay, cool. That was kind of fun. Hey! Hey! Uh, no one. Mmm. Dang! Did I stump the comment section? Oh my. Okay, so this is where we had the uh, the seashell, uh, not the seashell, the scale, the little mermaid scale. Remember we sunk underneath the water and picked it up for him? Uh, and then we put it inside there and then it just moves on its own. The magic of Zelda, what in the world? All right, anyway, so here we go. Here's the hint. What will you see? There's actually three things that you see with the magnifying lens or the lens of truth, right? No, this is a magnifying lens. Uh, this will reveal many things that you couldn't see before. All right. So the hint is enemies in this room? Yep. That was one of the hints. All right, that's one of the answers. Enemies in this one room were only there if you saw if you have the magnifying lens, which is pretty interesting. I mean, it's not really that useful, but uh number 2 is where we're going to be going now. So let's go take a look. We can uh we can do 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 towards uh <laughs> towards our other spot. <laughs> you guys know what that means, right? Do 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 do. Or I wanted to actually check a ow, oh, dude, come on, stop. You guys are bullies. I want to check a house in um in Animal Village really quick. Hey, Granny. Whoa, what? That's a that's apparently a thing not a thing in here, huh? What? Maybe later. Oh no. I don't know. Anyway, so let's uh do 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 do. You guys know what that means, right? <laughs> I am having fun with this game. That that means using the Monbo's Mambo in order to warp the heck out of Dodge. All right, so we gotta go. We're gonna go to uh, Taranbo's Shores, and if you guys remember where we met Marin and we picked her up, we hoisted her off of the ground and over our heads. This is where we gotta go visit now. So I'm gonna go hit that. <laughs> Do 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 do. Yeah, go ahead and spell that out in the comments for me. Not missing a single do. I'm looking for it. All right. That's the cool way. That's the cool person way of saying like warping all the way back to uh, to Mambo's Mambo. Dun, 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 ding, ding, ding. <laughs> all right, let's go, Tarambo Shores. I need to go. We got 860 rupees now. We are rich. We really only needed like 300, but using this little, um, getting a discount, not the five finger discount for sure, 
<laughs> we did not do the five finger discount. Oh man. Some of you guys actually do the five finger discount. How dare you? <laughs> Is that hypocritical? Because I took this thing and then I saved and quit. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so hilarious. Anyway. So one of the only things that you can do with the magnifying lens is visit this little spot right over here. And this may be a secret to some of you guys who don't really play this game. And it's actually one of the best weapons in the game. Arguably better than the level 2 Koholint sword. Don't call me a master sword because it's clearly not a master sword. Look at this dude! I found a good item! Washed up on the beach! I'll trade it to you for what you have in your B button. No. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. All right, so this dude, so typically what you want to do right here is you want to throw your shovel into the B button and then you want to talk to him because he's literally going to take away an item for you. And uh, they may or may not have fixed this in the Nintendo Switch version. Spoke too soon. But anyway, here we go. This is the boomerang uh, in exchange for the item you had. So if you ever want your shovel back, you're going to have to talk to him and then you can trade it back. But... At this point in the game, I mean, we really don't need the rest of the hidden seashells because we got the final thing. There's like, I think, six more hidden seashells in the game. I don't know if I'm actually going to go collect them because there's no point in collecting them um, when you've already got the level two sword, if that makes sense to you guys. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're all set. So we got the boomerang. We're going to go to the... Um, we're gonna go to the prairie now. Um, yeah, let's let's go hit that up. We're gonna do 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 do, and then we're gonna get out of here. We gotta go visit Wart. <laughs> Dang! Oh, here's another pop quiz for you guys, all you hot shots and Zelda fans out there. All right, you guys ready for uh, pop quiz number two? All right, here's another trivia that you can stump your friends with. What is the name? What's the name of Wart? What's the name of Wart in the Legend of Zelda? Link's Awakening, where we're going right now. What's what's his name? I think I yeah I, I think I think I know it. I think I know it. Some of you guys know it. Yes, his name is his name is Wart. Yeah, obviously. Uh, in Super Mario Two, his name is Wart. But in he's actually he actually makes an appearance in Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Uh, it's definitely not Wart. What's his name? I said his name was Wart. His name is not Wart in this game. But uh, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Anyone? No? Dude, did I stump you guys twice in one live stream? Dang, man. You guys gotta get schooled. Yo, get this guy out of here! I blade beamed him twice! Alright, uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, I guess we're gonna do a little bit of run jump. Hey, it's definitely not King Wart. <laughs> Alright, get ready. Oh, here we go. I gotta start over here. Alright, so this one's very They're very picky. Check this out. Go this way. Alright. I will. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -bum. You. Go this way. Alright. I am going this way. Go this way. Alright, cool. Let's go. But which way do I go after here, right? No, dude, I got you. And no, I don't want to listen to that music either. Go this way. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. What? Go this way. Okay, I'm, I'm working on it. You guys still didn't tell me the name of Wart, huh? Oh, there you go, there you go. Who got it, David? Yeah, dude. <laughs> you guys all looked it up on Google. I know you did. It took you that long. <laughs> You're like, oh, Google Link's Awakening NPCs or characters. Go this way. All right, I'm going. Go this way. All right, I'm going. I'm going, man. Stop telling me which way to go. Man, backseat gaming over here. Go this way. All right, I'm going. Go this way. Oh. Okay. Going this way. Okay, got it. I'm going. Uh, is it this one? Ooh, hold on, hold on. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> go this way. All right, here we go. <laughs> I don't want to mess this up because it's gonna, it takes forever. All right, go this way. Now, this is the part where you can easily mess this up if you're talking to the wrong sign. Okay, go this way. All right, we're going. Lift the rock and then go this way. Okay, I'm going. I'm going, man. Chill. What is your problem? 
All right, great. You did it. Your reward is this way. Go this way. Stop it. All right, dude. Wart made. Oh my gosh, it's Wart. But his name. He actually has another name. It's it's Mamu. It's Mamu. His name was Mamu. That was the answer to the quiz. Good job. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals. But I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you do? I guess we're going to have to pay it. I don't think you can save scum that. My ears are starting to bleed. Is that what it's supposed to sound like? Weird. Ugh. <laughs> Wart, dude, you gotta get some better vocals, man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Croak. Alright, so we learned the frog song of Soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. If you play the song... You'll make everything around you feel more alive. Yep, yep. Later, Wart. Uh, what does he say if I talk to him? Okay, thanks. It's Mamu. Mamu. Not to be confused with Nanu. Ooh! Alright, well, let's go... Uh, I think we can go get the... Um, we'll go to the color dungeon. What do you guys say? Let's go do the color dungeon. Then we'll go get the face key. And uh, then we're all set and ready to get out of here. So, Cool, right? What did you guys think of that song? Let's rate it out of 10 in the comments. Rate the song out of 10. Hello? Nope. Rate the song out of 10. What would you guys think? I rate that song like 4 out of 10. That was pretty rough. I like it because it's Wart, right? Like Wart from a dream? Like how is that possible? Wart was a dream. He's not real. Anywhere. He does not exist. Weird, huh? <laughs> Zero out of ten broke your eardrums. <laughs> uh, six out of ten? Ten out of ten? Serious? You thought that was cool? Alright, man. Are you serious? Alright. So, there's a little bit of a trick to this. I'm going to show you guys the trick right now. The ghosts and zombies! Watch out! All right, so there's a little bit of a trick to this. Uh, you gotta push the uh, the little gravestones in a certain way. Whoa, hey, watch out. Okay, so first one goes up, next one goes right. Third one goes up. Fourth one goes left. And then the last one goes down. Oh, dang, I was supposed to do it in a certain order. Oh, what's the order? Dang it. Okay, so I know the order. The order is, okay, so here we go, watch, watch. It's gonna be down. Downer, lefter, up, right, up. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so you gotta do it in a specific order. Whew. Okay, guys, here we go. Color dungeon time. Look at these two guardians. Our colors are never the same. If I'm red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? Blue? Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Do you have the powder? If not, you must go back. Oh, I got that powder. Let me through. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? Red. He's red. It's a little trick. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> the fairy queen is waiting for you. Oh, man, dude. This is the color dungeon, dude. Color McDungeon. Oh, gosh. Watch out for these fools. Hello? Nice to know you, nice to know you. See ya, buddy. Yo, really? You can't break pots? Okay, that's fine. Uh-huh. da na 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 Oh, you can see where the chest and the nightmare are hidden. This compass has a new feature. Alright, so there may or may not be a secret in this room. This one is one of the cooler secrets in the game, I would say. Doink! 
Yeah, rupee room? These are all fivers. Look at their green rupees. Dude, they're greeners. Look at that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm gonna put a bomb down just to celebrate. The green ones are worth five, the blue ones are worth one. How'd they get that messed up? <laughs> Where's the consistency? Oh, why do they change that? That's kind of funny, actually. Whoa, cool. Um, yeah. Well, that was a thing. Wee! Jumping without the rocks feather! Wee! Alright, cool. Am I throwing a pot at this? Interesting. You know, I've never done the color dungeon on the Game Boy Color version. So, this is going to be, like, pseudo-blind to me. Yo, I can see everything in color! He shoots! He scores! Jordan! From downtown! Swish. Alright, cool, we got the beak. Mozambique. Mozambique! Nope! Oh, dang! Yo, from under? Yo, chill. Ooga Boogas! What are these things even called in the Zelda universe? Ah! What are these things? Should I be getting these pots too? Like, I don't know. I have the I have an uh, an unwavering urge to pick them up. The colors, Duke. The colors. Hey, there's some powder. That that powder. In case you didn't have powder. Yeah, quick. Ask someone. Ask Google. <laughs> oh, these little bouncy boys. Yeah, me too. Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> me too. Look at jumping without rocks feather. You got a smalk E. We got that big smalk. Uh oh, monster time, monster time, right? No, not yet. We. Oh gosh, what a greedy fool! You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. I actually don't know how to beat this guy. I am going to start bombing him. No, I'm gonna try the boomerangatan. Oh no! I gotta jump too. Oh my goodness. Let's see what we gotta do here. Boomerangatang! Oh, dang! Yeah! Four hits of the boomerang! <laughs> what a loser! Yeah! Gimme that! Four hits with the boomerangatang. Dang, dude. Boomerang OP, man. I'm telling you, it's stronger than the Kohlin Sword. Like, by a mile. Wee! Oh my gosh, I said wee! Oh, yeah. Yo, can we... Can I get rid of that dude? Alright, so something's happening in this room. Yo, big guy just got owned by four hits of the boomer. Hey, a Switch, cool. A Nintendo Switch. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, no! I hate this. Check this out. Watch, 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 watch. Huh! One. Uh... Huh! Huh! Four hits, baby! Yo, who says a guy can't do puzzles? <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yo, who says a guy can't do puzzles? Am I right? Yo, and four perfectly timed hits. What are we doing in here? Oh, am I waiting? Okay, I probably don't have the key yet. So I will take the fairy. Yeah, Ruby, I agree. That's actually the worst kind of puzzle. I honestly hate those. And you guys should have seen when I was playing this on the Nintendo Switch version. I got nerve. I started sweating when I got in this room and it was different. When maybe it was different from the Game Boy Color version. Maybe it was, and I was may I may or may not have been sweating when I was playing it. Because I'm like, oh my gosh, I hate puzzles. I, I, I loathe puzzles. And you guys know me, like, I hate puzzles. Especially if I'm, like, put on the spot, like, in front of a live YouTube audience, like, you cool party people. Like, that's the worst thing, man. I remember- how many of you guys remember Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild when I played that? I did the, what was it? In Breath of the Wild, we did the Champions Ballad. We were like the first people to complete it, get the Master Cycle Zero. Dude, it was like going on six hours maybe, seven hours. And we were on the part where I had to like figure out a puzzle, which was annoying. Oh, come on. It was so annoying. Huh! Don't touch me, kid. And I had to figure out the puzzle like live in front of everyone. Oh my gosh, I was getting so far. Where did that go? What? Did that just glitch? Yo, what just happened? Hello? Oh, yuck. You know, I'm gonna- I'm gonna opt to exit here. 
What the heck just happened to that? Did you see? Did everyone see? Oh, ow! Yo, chill! Did everyone see that? Or are you guys colorblind? Oh! <laughs> alright, alright, come on, let's go, Jordan. Yo, you're throwing power with that level 2 bracelet, though. Yo, totally glitched that thing out of there. Give me that. I hate this music. I should not have picked up that acorn. <sighs> hello? Ah. Yes. Hello. That's clearly the way. That's pretty cool. We actually witnessed a glitch happen uh, in the game. That was awesome. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's that. That's a spike, apparently. Alright, so we're going this way, and then up. Boop, 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 boop. Hello. See you, losers. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Speak of the devil. Ouch, man. I said, speak of the devil, another puzzle that I gotta do. Great. Boo! I'm no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. Well, luckily I got dat powder, so guess what, child? Yeah, yeah, wiggle, wiggle all you want, dude. Ow, dude! Yeah, jump, one more time, right at me. Come here. Yeah, you wiggler. Bram! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 how do you like that? Don't do drugs, kid, come here. Ooh! Yeah, you done? Here, have some more. <laughs> Don't do drugs, kid. Sprinkle that powder on him. Give me that! That's a mini boss, by the way. You can see it in my face! <laughs> I'm like, huh? How am I getting past here? Oh, yeah, we're moving the blocks. It's so cool, you can see the aha moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's so cool about these Let's Plays, you know, in, uh, in 2019. Doing this Let's Play in 2019 versus playing it in, uh, 1990... 1990s. Um, anyway, we're out of here. See ya! Later, loser. Yeah, we're going up. Thought so. Don't touch the spikes, Lonk. <laughs> that kid's just playing, man, and I just... He was just being his best self, living his best life, and I just ended this man's career. <laughs> just knocked him in the pit. He's a goner. I'm a goner! Hoo yeah, dude, that's style points. Alright, you ready? Alright, someone guess. Let's take a prediction in the chat. How many boomerang hits? Blue is safe. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. One! Two! What? Blue, start over. Ye what? What are you doing? One? Two. Chill, man! Whoa! You're so fast! Can you not? Oh, this guy. Oh my gosh, what is your problem? He's actually hard! Why is he pushing me? Time to die, man. Come here. Yellow is caution, red is danger. Take your time. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna take my time. I'm gonna kill you! Fool. He had to do it in like time. Or else he would have reset himself. That's hard to do without the boomerang, man. I don't know. I actually didn't count that. It was like six or seven? I don't know. You guys all win. Uh welcome, Link. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? Alright, ladies and gents, quick in the comments, are we going red or blue? I got the red pill. This is the Matrix, and Morpheus is in front of us. We've got the red pill, and we got the blue pill. What are we doing? Red or blue? Red, red, Antonio, David? Amethyst wants blue for safety. Daniel wants blue for safety. Andy wants red. I see a lot of you guys saying red. We're going red. Hey, the best offense is a really good offense, as they say, right? Relax and close your eyes. Yo, red boy! You got the red clothes. Your body is full of energy. Yo, dude. The best offense... 
has a really good offense. <laughs> I will now take you out. Where are we going? Steak dinner? We doing sushi? Yeah, buddy! Yo, I'm red now. This is good. Alright, so if you ever wanted to change your mind, you can indeed uh, go change up your clothes. So that's pretty cool. You can go back there and change up to blue if you want. But I figure right now, at this point in the game, uh, it'll be kind of fun to, I don't know, mess around with blue clothes and see how strong our sword can really be now. Uh, so it's really offensive. I like it. But of course, remember, we're trying to do this game and get the, like, the true secret ending. So that being said, we need to make sure that we don't die. So the safer bet, if you guys are playing along with and you don't want to die, the safer bet is to go with the blue clothes. Yes. I like living on the edge. So I'm going to go with red because it's cool too. And trust me, you're going to want these red clothes in the Nintendo Switch version for sure. Blue is just so obsolete. Anyway. A bum bum ba da 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 dum bum bum. Alright. Whoa, whoa, dang. Hold on. How did I not get shocked? Oh, because I did that. Alright, anyway. I don't think I need to run, so we're good. Walk, don't run. You might fall into the water. Okay, so here we go. Oh, hey, buddy. What's up, dude? What's up, Kapora? Uh, there are two shrines, one to the north and other to the south. First, head south, where ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Get rid of that thing. Yo, we just KO'd the little mushroom flying guys. I'm telling you, boomerang, best weapon in the game. You could, like, do everything with it. Out of here, tech tights. All right, moving on. See ya, dude, little mushroom. All right, so this is the, uh, yeah, what is this? The, um, ruins? Are you okay? It's kind of cool. Yeah, two hits with, oh, man. Two hits with the boomerang, guys. Oh, ha, ha, mommy. Two hits with the boomerang. These guys always drop arrows for some reason. I'm gonna go up. I think there's a secret over here. Pfft. Wish there was a heart piece in here, man. This guy right here. No, his brother. To the south, this guy. Give me those arrows. Yeah? Well, that's interesting. Because I need more rupees. Oh, that's weird. Alright, well. Let's just say... The, uh, the chests in the new version may or may not contain the same things. Hmm. The more you know. Alright, here we go. Okay, so no spoilers when we get in here, okay? Because I know some of you guys uh, know what go what's going on. But I don't want to see or hear any spoilers. Alright, I'm not honestly sure if I can attack this dude with an... With a- with a boomerang? Yo, mommy! Help! Oh my gosh, alright, alright. <laughs> this dude's scary. I got 23 of these! 23 of me right over here. Alright, where are we going? This. Yeah, right in the eye. No! Ah! You just gotta aim where his shield isn't. That's it. Now his shield goes away. And you can jump too if you want. Oh, his eyeballs! They're out- Oh, I got him in mid-air! Yo, predicted! <laughs> Yo, these hard reads. These hard reads on the, uh, the Armo Snipe King. Alright, so this is the face key. There's a little face on the key. You get it? Yeah, alright. Alright, no spoilers, man. Check this out. Huh? There's a picture. Carved on the wall, but you can't see it because it's too dark in here. Oh, I wonder what we gotta do. Oh, yeah? That accurate powder drop right there. Okay, so here we go. You guys can read that, right? To the finder, the Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky, a scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. 
Cast away, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? What does that even mean? Is it all a dream? What, are we playing like Super Mario Bros. 2? The heck? I don't know. Weird. I like how it rhymed. It's like all an illusion on like the sleeper's eye. I think that's really cool. They, they were like talking directly to you. Castaway. Remember, the beginning of this game, Link got into a storm and his ship or whatever, like capsized. Ah, I see that you have read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure, just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it. So you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the windfish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will know for sure. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? No spoilers. Do not spoil it. I know it's an old game, I get it. <laughs> no spoilers, man, come on. Anyway, it, it's pretty interesting. Like, what the heck is going on? Why Why did that relief kind of tell us that this is all a dream? And like, all the nightmares too. Like, all the bosses are like, Yo, dude, what are you doing? We just want to live. Every t If you keep on pursuing this, this windfish, it's all going to go away. So that's why the nightmares are trying to attack you. Because they, they want to live. And Link is out here killing them. So who's the real villain in this game? I don't want that. I don't like the music. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty deep, right? If you think about it. If you think about it, it's, it's pretty deep. The lore, right? The lore. Ah, yeah, we gotta go get that windfish and find out the truth for sure. Let me see if something's over here. What? What do you mean? Hmm. <laughs> what do you mean there's nothing over there? What? Okay, okay, okay. Guys, just play the Nintendo Switch version. Anyway. Yeah, you know, I have that exact same Zelda encyclopedia. I should actually read up on. There's there's a lot of there, this game has a lot of parables with life and things in general. And we'll talk about it during the end credits for sure. Uh, in case you guys need a little bit of healing, right over here is a little fairy fountain. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all of that stress. Close your eyes and relax right now. Alright, here we go. Shwim, shwim. Alright, this guy's gonna bother me while I'm up here. He usually does. Lucky. Fish! Yeah, dude, fish underwater. Destroy them with the boomerang. Alright, uh, we are going to hookshot across with this. Whee! Going up. Depositing said key. And ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the face shrine. And of course, once we're done with the face shrine, that will be the end of the live stream. But don't go anywhere. Uh, we have links uh, to the next live stream that's going to be happening. So uh, we're going to do it directly after this. I'm going to go grab a little drink of water, and then we're going to go do number seven. And then tomorrow is going to be the finale. Or maybe we should just do it tonight and be done with it. I don't know. It's really up to you guys. I can do it tomorrow. I can do it today. Um... Yeah, it depends. Alright, so here we go, face shrining. I honestly don't remember this dungeon, so I am going to be struggling a little bit as to try to remember where to go. So, just bear with me. This one is, like, I remember the first, like, five dungeons pretty fairly easy. Oh! Really? Is that right? You guys don't... You guys don't die to this? What do you die easily to? Hookshot? I don't want to arrow these guys. Do I honestly have to arrow them? I thought... I thought they were... What is going on? What the heck? A million different shots? Like, I, I guess I could... Yeah, you know, I think it's going to be bombs. I don't want it to be bombs because that's expensive. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think it's gonna be bombs. That's so bad if it is. Yeah, okay, ladies and gents, it's bombs. That's lame. Um, but you can indeed boomerang them so that you get them, like, frozen in one spot. And you can kind of, like, move them wherever you want them, and then you just blow them the heck up. Kind of cool. But if I have to redo that every time we're going into this area, that's gonna be lame. And I did it all for stupid rupees. Like, come on, man. And I just accidentally dropped a bomb. Wow, this is real good. We're starting off on the right foot here. Alright, let's continue on. So, the gimmick of this level is going to be... Um, collecting a level 2 bracelet. Okay, hello, shy guy. Hello? What's your deal? Okay, you know what, let's go back to back and fight. Oh, uh, that's a lot better. Alright, so we're gonna come this way... We're gonna do this. I remember a couple things about this dungeon, like this here. That's the way through. Please leave me alone. I do also remember this. It's very peculiar that this carpet just kind of ends off right here. So we're gonna bomb that. This is interesting, because I don't know if Boomerang can reach that far, or I have to go back. And I don't think I could throw arrows diagonally. Ow, man, what's your problem? Yeah, I don't think so. Alright, so let's go back. Hit this thing. I think I have to KO these guys. Gather round, kids! Needed to. Alright, so we got the map. Let's, uh, let's see what that does. Alright, what do we got here? A heart? I guess I can go pick that up. Let's get up to full, why not? And then get another hit right there. Beautiful, beautifully done. Oh, yeah, yeah, this one's going to be, for some reason, this is another pot door. I think. Yeah, like, what the heck, dude? I hate pot doors. Pot doors are so stupid. That shouldn't even be a thing in the games. Like, how are you supposed to know that? Especially at the beginning. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So we got the compass, now this is going to be a lot easier because we got the compass, we can kind of look at the map and see to do where we need to go. Alright. So here we go, I can go up and around, I guess. And I can go pick up some bombs because I think we, we may or may not need a couple more bombs in this uh, dungeon, so let's go see what's up. Hello? Oh yeah, those little horse heads. Yeah, I remember those things. Ooh. I, and I need to hit a switch, great. Let's do a little bit of jogging, shall we? Let's go quick. Did that hit? Or did I hit that twice? Does it turn orange? <laughs> Colors, man! Colors! Oh gosh, yeah, yeah. We're fine, we're fine. Why did... Can I, can I just attack you fools? Alright, whatever, whatever, whatever. Here, we're gonna go, we're gonna go bomb. We're gonna go boomerang. Get in the corner! Get blown up. You get out of here. Okay, see ya, losers. Alright, so that was good. Pretty easy. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. Dashing without a sword, of course. Because that's how we do. I don't have the ability to do this yet. So, uh, yeah, let me actually put my sword on, and then take a look. Hey, what do you know? It's the stone beak! So in case you guys ever need a hint, uh, you can get the stone beak, you can go talk to the little owl, and the owl gives you a little bit of, of a hint as to what you need to do in the dungeon. Which is pretty cool, so, I mean, I had to use the stone beak when I was playing this game, like, blind. So, yeah, I kind of know, like, what I need to do. 
Oh gosh. Come on, dude. Here, how about this? Uh, that's annoying. I need to go around. Alright, that's cool. How about we do this? Oh yeah, that's not a thing? Okay, great. Really? Okay. Hello. So, you would normally do that part if you don't have the level 2 sword. You would do that with your bow and arrow. And you just shoot it across the gap. Uh, so, we're moving on over here. This is interesting. Look, it looks like a... Like an ancient hieroglyph, doesn't it? Where, like, someone's holding, like, two pots. Maybe, like, something out of, like, Indian culture with, like, the Ganesh. Could be. And there's a Goombabwe. Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, that, that's... I was getting a, I was getting a kind of, like, Ganesh vibe. Um, whoa, I don't know what the heck that is, but I'm starting to get a seizure just by looking at it. So watch out. Oh, seizure warning, guys. Whoa. You're kidding me. Come on, dude. I made it all this way. Ugh. That's a big eye roll. Ouch, dude. What is your problem? Whatever, I don't care. So I need to hit a switch. Once, and then go. So that means that I'm gonna do this. Out of the way! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. Now we're ready to go. Alright, here we go, here we go. I'm getting ready to jump to... These things are kind of annoying, but luckily for us, we don't really have to deal with them. Oh, dang, sweet. Every time you jump on a Goomba, you get a heart, so keep that in mind. In case you guys are running low, you can jump on a Goomba's head, just like in Mario, and you'll get a heart, guaranteed. All right, anyway. Who's here? You dudes. These dweebs. All right. It's gotta be an easier way. Get in the corner. Wrong corner. That's fine. You can stay there. Chill for a little bit. No, don't come near me. This is so weird. I was thinking that the um, the boomerang could like two hit KO them, but apparently that's not the case. All right, ladies and gents, say hello to the level two bracelet. Dun -na -na -na. All right, we got the more powerful bracelet. It's not called anything. It's just called the more powerful bracelet. You can almost lift a whale. Great. All right, so now it's red like me, which is kind of cool. So again, the color. Yeah, check this boy out. Let's go. I just took that with me and it disappeared. Hmm. Interesting. So now that we have this level 2 bracelet, we can go in a couple different spots. Uh, there's a spot all the way in the top corner where we could go. Yes. Yes, that's where we need to go right now. Okay. Get this guy out of here. Yuck. The level 2 bracelet. Dun -na -na -na. Yoink. How? <laughs> I don't know, still to this day, I'm like, if you're locked out of that room, like, how do you even open it? I don't think you can. Whatever. Hello? Oh my gosh. Menuing, man. In and out of this menu, like, it's no one's business. Yeah, here we go. Was that the same turtle shell sound effect? From Mario? <laughs> Ugh, break it! Alright, here we go. And there's some other cool stuff that happens. Check this out. It's 100 rupees. Like, we need 900 rupees. And check this out, we get a little breath of fresh air. Yeah! 20 rupees, yeah! And we're over here in the river raft ride area. That you don't necessarily have to. I guess we'll go in there. Alright, so these things are a turd. I hate these things. Hello? What? Oh my gosh. That's just random. That's just complete RNG on how that happens. Alright, anyway, let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, so you have to just throw those things, and then, like, they'll do work. Um, they may or may not have changed that in the, um, 
Switch version. Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah. That's fine. We'll do this. Really? Wow, this game... Like, I guess if you really know the optimizations of all this, you could be fine. But I don't know the optimization. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Right? No, I'm gonna go down and over, I guess. Yeah, I need that chest, so let's go get that. Alright, we need to use this. We're gonna go back to back with Shy Guy. Masked Mimic. Huh? What do you mean the door won't open? What? Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll go down this way then. Whoa! <laughs> I'll go down this way. Don't make me fight these guys again. Come on, man! Uh, alright, alright. I got an idea. Check this out. Check this out. This one's gonna be killer. This is gonna be real killer. Check this out. Nice to know you fools! Yeah, buddy! Style points! That's cool, right? Should've done it at the beginning, though, but... Dang, dude, that's a threefer. That is absolutely a threefer. Alright, here we go. So we got the rupees. Do I need them? No. Did I say I was gonna 100% walk through this and get all the treasure chests? Yeah, sure I did. So, there you go. Alright, so we need to get out of here. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, there's a couple different ways to go. I see one little pathway, um, but and I also see the beginning. So let's do 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 out of here, and then I think I think I'm gonna go towards the the right, and I hope that that's the way out. I hope I'm not missing something up towards the top. But if I am, whatever, we'll figure it out. Doesn't matter. Time to do 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 do. All right. Anyway, so dungeon time. We're gonna go this way, and now that we have the full on. Um, the lifting bracelet. It's gonna be a little bit easier to navigate. Come on, dude. Just go. Damage boost it. Whatever. Uh, this is gonna be a little annoying. So we're gonna do this. And... You guys wanna fight? Come here. Huh. Throw my boomerang out at you guys. Come here. You want some? Flying tiles? Yeah, I'm actively going after them. I'm not hiding in the corner. No, man. What is this? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, dang, I know these guys. Oh, I remember them. All right, if I remember anything, it's these fools. I'm going to destroy two of them. By going right here. Right here. Oh, dang! Oh, yo, nimbly dodging it! Ah, uh, twice. Three of them. That's not too bad. Alright, and I guess, you know, I'll just slap a bomb right on ya. Ooh, let me pick it up, let me pick it up. What? Beating those guys up is totally annoying, by the way. Um, so there's another treasure chest over here, and I don't necessarily need it. Uh, but you can get it. If you really want to, it is, I think it's for some Stacy's medicine. Uh, Crazy Tracy, sorry, Crazy Tracy's meds. Uh, hello? Uh, what is going on? I gotta KO this dumb thing. Get back here and get destroyed. So if you really want to, you guys can go all the way back, hit the switch, and then come back over there and get that. The game won't let me pick up two of the potions. So, yeah, so there's that. Wow. So, for the sake of time, we're going to... I don't think I should actually show that off. We're going to continue. Alright, small key. You can open up a locked door now. Hey! And we gotta go there somehow. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking at this map and I'm trying to remember now. I have where's the key? Where's the key go? Dude, next live stream is gonna be rough. Eagle Tower is a big mess. Yeah, I guess I'm going all the way across there. 
Uh, no, maybe... Hold on. Up and over? Is there a bomb wall? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I don't honestly remember. Oh, hey, there's a key right here. What do you know? Out of here. Hello? What? What was the point of this? Bomb walls? Oh, man, it's frustrating, dude. <laughs> bomb walls. Oh, well, they do give you a bomb. All right, up, down, left, or right. Where do you guys think? I'm going to say up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this idiot. Oh, I hate this guy. This guy's a bully. Yo, you want to fight? Uh. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ooh. Hey, you're not supposed to catch. Oh, my gosh. That hurt. He might kill me. Ow! Oh, yeah. How do you like that? Come here. Come here. Yeah. What do you know about that? Every time he throws that at you, you literally take three hearts of damage, this fool. What a bully. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right. I don't really know what that guy's name is, but he's annoying. What is this? Oh, dang. Yeah, this is like the infinite room. Oh, that's interesting. Like, look, you can keep on going up forever if you want, but uh, there's a secret. Goombas. Whoa. 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 Unnecessary flipping. Yeah. Really? Okay, he doesn't jump off the rungs of the ladder. Oh, dang, this is cool. All right, I'm in here. I remember this. Check this out. Check this out. Now we got teleported to the spot where I was curious about. So I'm going to chill here. Say hi to you guys in the comments. Hello. What's up? Hello. Hey, what's up, Ruby Dragonflame? Hello. Oh, dang, S. Luna's in the house. Hey, what's going on? Watching some old school Zelda over here? Was that the series that brought you to my channel? Was that... Is that how that worked out? Ugh! So I do have a key. I could indeed go downwards. There's gonna be an inhaling thing over here. Mommy! The only way that we get out of here is if we... Allow these little slimes to die. And then we can leave. Ugh! And then that's, this is the way to the, the big, yeah, the boss door. I'm not ready yet. I'm missing a whole bunch of stuff. All right, let's hope that there's an underground section. Oh, come on, I gotta do this again. Oh! Uh, do! Come on, man, let's go. Wow. Oh, I'm playing with the circle pad. What a fool. You gotta play the D-pad, man. Nah. Nah, son, let me teach you. Yep. Land it right on him. <laughs> Great, here we go. You guys ready for your favorite part? Throwing these stupid things. Why? Dang, second try. What a champ. Yeah, there was a downstairs portion. Good. Oh, yeah, we get to run like we're playing Mario Brothers. Oh, check this out. It's like we're taking a page off of Super Mario. Running, go! Watch out for the Womps! Yay! How cool was that? And the Womps have one eyeball. Oh, you guys want to see something awesome? Check this out. Did I show this to you guys about before? This little secret with the Poles voice? Poof! Gone, baby! Yo, secrets you learned here, ladies and gents. The Poles Voice. Those, I don't know why they're called Poles Voice. But apparently they don't like the song of the Windfish. dun na dun dun na 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 Alright, so that was kind of cool. Raise your hand if you guys learned something new just now. I'm actually curious. Did you guys learn something new about that? And don't be shy. It's okay. You guys can use it when you play the Nintendo Switch version, I promise you. Two 
200 rupees! Dang, look at that! And we got 999! What are we gonna do with all that debt money? You're ecstatic for nothing. Alright, anyway, we're gonna play a game called Let's Pick Up This Stupid Thing and Throw It Against the Wall. Uh -uh. Yo, second try again. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah! Help! <laughs> Get out of here. Dude, so good. Magic Boomerang? Best weapon in the game. Hands down. Alright, where did I come from? I need to go down here. Do I have to? Oh, I do. Yuck! And I got 30 bombs. I guess we're good. Check this out. Yummy! Oh, dang! Missed it! Come on. You can, like, get him locked. One! With his mouth still open! Come on, man! Yee! From downtown! Oh, come on, man. Eat it! Yeah, dude. One man's trash. Where are you going? Up? Down? Left? Right? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh! 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 <laughs> you! Chain them! Yeah, see, that's what you're supposed to do. I'm supposed to chain them. Oh, what? Invincibility frames? I wasn't aligned on the right pixel? Yo, dude, give me a pixel. What's the point of this? Oh, because I got a hook shot across the gap. Yeah, 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 here we go. Okay, so it's all, it's all, the cards are all falling exactly where they should right now. And this is the master key. Or the nightmare key right here. It's like, hey, you're used to, uh, you're used to opening up chests, right? Nope, you have to throw the pot at that. It's a little interesting, and that's what the bird beak says up top. He's like, yo, you can't open the chest unless you, like, throw some stuff at it. And it's kind of interesting, like, you gotta break it open with that. Kinda cool. Alright, so what else? I think we're done. We're done with the level. That one chest that's in the lower corner over here is indeed tr Crazy Tracy's... Crazy Tracy, yeah, yeah. Crazy Tracy's little, um, ointment that she puts all over you. So, you don't necessarily, and even if you do pick it up, like, you, you can't use it. So he puts it right back in the chest, so. Not about to go change stuff up in order to get that. Dude, I gotta do this again? Come on, man. Alright, whatever, here we go. Completely in the middle, get all three of them. Two for lame. Boom, missed it by a mile. Really? We're really doing this. Come here. Yo, I'm gonna get this guy, and I'm gonna moonwalk back. No, I wanted to moonwalk back. <laughs> See ya. Alright. So, we need to go to the boss room. That's very far. Uh, Alright, we're walking. Let's go. I mean, it's only two screens away, so we're fine. I might as well grab my boots, and let's run. Ugh! Help! Oh, help! I'm stuck! Yo! What the heck was that? <laughs> Yo, how does a guy get stuck? Get stuck, he says. Get out of here. You think it mattered, though? You think it mattered that I took four hearts? It doesn't. Because I'm gonna get them right back. Mm, okay. Leave. You shy guy. Alright, this is the way, right? I'm probably going the wrong way. Gimme that! <laughs> oh man, that's actually really funny. I landed on that Goomba from so high up, it was like a hundred feet! Dude, come on! I just want to beat the boss! Like, I don't want to do this nonsense anymore. You ever get, like, burnt out of a dungeon? You're just like, let's go. Alright, check out this Goomba stomp from downtown! Oof! <laughs> I guess I can have a little fun while I'm at it, right? Watch well, this not even be the way to go. Okay, here we go. You shy and guy. Oh my gosh. Alright, get ready, get ready. Check this out, check this out. Doink. Alright, can we go? <laughs> Wreck that Goombabwe. <laughs> yeah, we totally did. 
We destroyed him from downtown like this. Whoo! <laughs> Yo. Yup, it's Tom again. Hi, can you have a hug? Alright, everyone in the comments, give this dude a hug. I'm, I'm fresh out of hugs. I would honestly give you one. Uh, maybe if that was like a sponsorship, I would totally give you a hug. <laughs> Just kidding. Thanks for the super chat, bud. Thanks, Tom. Thanks for the hug, Tom. Hey, yo, everyone give Tommy a hug. Tommy boyo. You doink. Tell me this is the way out. This isn't the way out. I was going the wrong way. Ugh, come on, man. That's some doodle 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 ding. Oh, man. Okay, so I just gotta get out of here. Can you stop? Go ahead. Take me out, dude. Take me out. Let me use this potion. <sighs> Not the way. It's not this way either. <laughs> the way is right underneath my nose. I know it is. I can't go backwards that way. Ugh. Okay, let's look at this map one more time. So I'm right here. Can you tell I'm getting a little burnt out? <laughs> yeah. Yo, Tommy, what's the deal, man? Thanks for the super chats. I don't know who Gizlgoo is, but, um... <laughs> I guess I'm telling Gizlgoo. <laughs> Yo, can a guy get out of here? I just softlocked myself. No, I didn't. I can jump off from right here. Tell my guy. Tell my guy that I gotta find this way out because I'm going nuts here. It's not this way. It's not top corner. Oh, Gizzlegoo raided earlier. Alright, cool. Thanks. Tell it to Gizzlegoo. <laughs> okay, Face Shrine. I'm so ready. That's the wrong song. What? It's like you're playing this dungeon and you're like, dude, where do you go? Where do you mm, go? All right, so here we go. Bomb into dongos. Dude, that's all I needed. That's, that's just what I needed. I needed to do that. I needed to go bomb some Dodongos, and then I just need to go under here. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay, no, I'm making, I'm making the right decision here. Check this out. Who yet? Alright, here we go! Yeah! Big jump! Oh yeah, we don't jump across, we just slide, like we're playing. Hey, hey, we made it! Guys, we're here! Oh my goodness, we're so here. I'm out of here. See ya, dude! I'm doing these crazy 360s around here, check this out. Yeah, later. Later, losers. Alright, now we play a game. And this game is a relatively annoying game. I'm going to show you how to play it. Check this out! Check this out! <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo! Yo! Yeah! See ya! 
Don't get shot. Whoa, dodging bullets like the Matrix, man. All right, anyway, we made it. Ladies and gents, the end of the live stream is nigh. I want to say thanks again to each and every one of you guys uh, who have come over here and have been enjoying the live stream and uh, bearing with me while I struggle to find my way through. But anyway, we did it. Here we go. This is the face shrine. So face does not like... He doesn't like bombs. I got 13 of them, so I hope that's more than enough. What's up, face? Hey, dummy! Need a hint? <laughs> My weak point is, whoops, there I go, talking too much again. What's up, face? Yo! Yo, face! Ouch! Come on, face! Alright, you gotta face the truth now. Yeah! See a face? Alright, man. Here we go. Big face on the floor, man. Oh, too early. Here you go, face. That's a nose now. Okay, listen up. If the windfish wakes up, everything on this island will be gone forever. And I do mean everything. Let me get in that hole. Alright, dude. That's face for you. We gave him a new nose. And we got a heart piece. It's pretty cool. Face shrine. Coral triangle. <laughs> Ron apply emojis in the chat. Thanks so much. Oh, dang. It's 8 o'clock. Whoa, right on time, too. Yo, we got another live stream that we're scheduled, right? Don't go anywhere. Mountain. Something calls from the mountains. Dang. Yo, ladies and gents, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the episode of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Uh, yeah, this is... Oh, dang. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm looking right now that we got another um, another live stream literally in two minutes. Hey, everyone come over here. Watch, watch. Come over here in the chat. I'm gonna put the link right over here. Everyone click on that. Everyone click on that and come say hi to me in the uh, in the brand new chat. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna wave right now. So, we got a brand new live stream that we're gonna do tonight. Give me like about five minutes and we'll get started. And what we have to do on the next live stream is do Eagle's Tower. Which is, uh, I'm not really good at that dungeon, so we are gonna, we may struggle a little bit, because it's kind of not, um, not easy. It's probably one of the harder dungeons, for sure. We're gonna go do that, and then we're gonna go collect some other things, uh, along the way. I think we need more heart pieces, as you guys can see, we're missing a couple. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be really great. Thanks so much for coming. All of you guys that are here, all the way into the very end, thank you so much. Uh, I see Daniel, Jorge, Renzo, Ruby, William, Brenz Games, BWA, S. Luna, Amethyst. Oh, we was here. What's up, we? Haven't seen you in a while. What's going on, man? Thanks for coming. Um, yeah, Kotetsu's in the house as well. Uh, Delilah, thanks for coming. All of you guys, thanks for being here. Uh, thanks for the previous raid. Sorry, I mean, just focus on figuring this out. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. So this game is super cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have been playing along with me, then you guys know exactly how to get heart piece number nine, which is by Canalette Castle. Uh, you guys know exactly how to get the bow. I mean, there's so many rupees in the game, especially if you use the, uh, the Abdallah discount. Um, that's not a five finger discount. It's the Abdallah discount. Uh, we got, we got you the ma magnifying glass in order to get the boomerang. We learned the song of soul. We met Mamu, which is not wart. Don't call me wart. Um, we got the face key, we went over to face shrine, we did the color dungeon, so we're doing double damage every sword hit, which is super cool. And of course we got heart piece number 10, so really cool, really cool episode. We are destroying this game, we are collecting everything that we can. Uh, again, like I said earlier, I don't know if I should really go collect all the other seashells, even if they're around. It feels like it's just pointless busy work, so... Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much. Uh, give me about five minutes. I'll go start that other live stream, and I'll see you there. You guys all have the link in the chat. The chat has the link right now, and uh, we'll see you there. Make sure you guys hit that like button on your way out. And, of course, make sure you guys are all subscribed, because when Link's Awakening comes out on the 20th, of course, we're going to be live streaming on the 19th. When that game comes out, we're going to be playing the entire game in one go, and it's going to be so fun. And everything that we're doing in these videos over here we're gonna have to replicate again. 
The dungeons are the exact same thing. The trading quest is the exact same thing. The only thing that they changed up are the graphics, added a couple more heart pieces, and a whole bunch more secret shells. So, of course, I've got you covered with all those guides that I'm working on off screen when I'm not streaming. So, anyway, thanks so much for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Again, subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll see you on the next one. Take care. Have a good night.